Hey guys, Peeve here. As part of me and Ouroboros' recent Parry King competition, uh, we're going to be giving y'all some tips on pairing in Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 2. Um, I will show you some stuff in Dark Souls 1, and he will show you a few things in Dark Souls 2. Um, basically, I'm going to go over uh, some setup parries, some rolling R1s, and some running R1s of a few weapon types that you would encounter pretty often in PvP. And I'm joined today by your bro Tarkus, who is here to assist me, and is also very, very rude, apparently. So yeah, let's get started. A general rule of thumb whenever pairing anything in Dark Souls 1 PvP is to pair about half a second earlier than you would if it were a PvE scenario. So first we have the Falchion, and a good way to parry little fast weapons like this is to tank it and tank the first hit and then parry the second uh, but you have to also meet the proper poise break for this the uh, amount of poise you would need to tank it would be I believe 31 poise so let's give it a try now we have the rolling R1 okay and now the running R1 alright and that is it for the falchion Alright, and now we have something you're definitely going to encounter in PvP a good bit, and that is the katana. Pretty much all of the katanas have the same parry windows. Um, up first we'll do a setup parry, same as the falchion. There you go. That's for anybody spamming it. Rolling R1. Okay. And we have the running R1. You might need to uh, meet them in the middle there to catch them with that. Astra Spears, same deal with the setup parries. Same deal with the rolling R1s. And the same with the running. Up next, we got the Claymore. Pretty much the same deal as any great sword you may encounter. Somebody's mashing against your shield. Carry them like that. They're doing a lot of rolling R1s, and you see it coming. Just take them out like that. And then the running R1, which that one's that one's a bit tougher. Some people will mix it up. They'll try to dead angle you, which is where they uh, they throw out the attack in a certain way to where they can get behind your block. So if it looks like they're coming at a weird angle, especially that running R1. Uh, it may be best not to attempt to parry it, uh, because they may just punish you for it. Here we have the Great Club. You can parry this by sight. Rolling R1 can be a bit tricky. You need to delay it a bit because of how long the attack takes. And there's the running, even though you won't encounter that too much. Pretty much if you see someone with a Great Club, um... Generally, if they're also wearing Havel's armor and Mother's Mask, uh, they're probably going to be trying to uh, backstab you with Hornet Rings. So you might want to just be wary of that. We have the Zwei Hander. It's an ultra great sword move set that can be parried by sight. This rolling R1 is extremely similar to the Claymore rolling R1. You may need to delay it a bit. And the running R1. There we go. Very much similar to the uh, to the Great Club, but um, with a weapon like this, you definitely need to watch out for people trying to do dead angles. So if they're turning around a lot and different, uh, going for different angles, be very cautious about pairing them. All right, here we have the Rapier move set, which the only one I really want to showcase. Something that I've had trouble with for a very long time. It's the running R1 of the Rapier. It's like a two-fold poke attack. And the way you want to parry that is, um, is parry it as if you're trying to tank the, the first poke on your shield directly. So let's go ahead and try it. There you go. That is something you will encounter a lot in PvP. And uh, it's good to know how to deal with it. So that pretty much covers uh, the basics. So uh, just keep at it. Um, keep in mind some attacks can't be parried, such as the 
two-handed rolling R1 of the great club that stabs into the ground, as well as a few others. You just need to get a feel for the parry windows and understanding of attacks, and you'll get the hang of it soon enough. Not this time, though. You can parry that, I'm just bad. <laughs> <laughs>